Layering in crunch makes a much more interesting dessert. This coconut crunch has rich flavor and really great texture due to the use of toasted coconut and royaltine, which is otherwise known as foyatine. Coconut is high in fat, so when it toasts at a 350 Fahrenheit oven, you need to keep your eye on it so it doesn't burn. Distributing the heat allows it to brown at a nice even rate. And doing it first gives it time to cool while you prepare the other ingredients. I am using real white chocolate, so there is real cocoa butter in the chocolate, which means there are cocoa butter crystals that you need to pay attention to. If your chocolate is already in temper, all you have to do is microwave it gently, 45 seconds to start, followed by 10 to 15 second blasts. In this recipe, half the white chocolate is melted and the other half is ground in a food processor with the toasted coconut that has been cooled. Over agitating chocolate as you're melting it can cause it to go out of temper, so you wanna take your time and do less. Pulsing the food processor will keep this mixture from becoming like butter. The crunchiness comes from the toasted coconut and the foyatine, not just one of them. And this only takes a second. And as you can see, there are so few ingredients, it's really quite beautiful. I should mention that I added sea salt, which you cannot see me do. You have to blend completely so that the royaltine does not get soggy. The coverture will crystallize overnight and it will keep the mixture crunchy. In fact, royaltine will stay crunchy whether it's warm, cold, or frozen. Coconut crunch can be used as a layer in a cake, entremet, or on its own as a candy. And you can do this by pressing it into a frame, rolling it between parchment, cutting it into shapes, or dropping scoops onto a parchment. I keep a frozen log in the freezer for unexpected guests, break it apart to toss over some ice cream, cut it to size and shape for decor or as a cake layer. And I think crunch adds that different sensation that's lacking from many desserts. And it's something that I think people repeatedly comment that they like. Everybody likes crunchy food, but in our desserts, they tend to be one note. Soft buttercream, soft cake, soft mousse, things like that. So this is something that you can add to create interest. Royaltine is a great ingredient to add crunch with many other flavors too. Chocolate, hazelnut, any flavor you can imagine, you can turn into this crunch and make all of your desserts way more interesting.